Hey guys and welcome to this uh, latest tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make that creepy uh, corridor effect. So the first thing you want to do is to get yourself some images of uh, floors or walls, anything that you want to put in it. I simply got these off Google which are you know, the best sort of place to get any textures. Um, then I set up a camera and made my image a 3D object and this allows me to move it in 3D space. So I put on a motion tile effect, which then allows you to stretch the image. And try and get one that can be repeated, um, can be mirrored and look sort of natural-ish. This is the wall uh, that I chose to use. And obviously alter the textures and stuff as much as you want. Uh, completely up to you. So then uh, a good idea to ha is to have um, a camera that you can move around. So in the top left corner you see a little camera looking logo that allows you to just move around your camera to whatever position you want. You can also select between the custom views and uh, left, right, whichever. Makes it a lot easier. So to add a bit of 3D-ness to my image I took another rectangle uh, shape and feathered it and then put that on top of my image, uh, my image layers and this created a sort of shadow effect. And I had to do this separately for each of the walls and things because for some reason it did not like it when I just copied the one from the floor and put it on the wall. So I do uh, do that and then I just copied my wall over to the other side. Obviously if you wanted to make one that was a lot more detailed you could add all manner of things onto it. You could add even add pictures onto your walls, you can add uh, different walls, make your own texture if you wanted to. Uh, and then I got a simple black solid, put that at the back of my corridor. This is going to be the end because I want to give the illusion it goes a lot, it goes darker towards the end, but you can't see that. So I created more shadows coming out from either side of the square because I really want uh, I really want that to blend in with the walls. I don't want it to just look like there's a random square at the end of the corridor because that would look a little, a little naff to put it put it nicely. So then I created the ceiling. Uh, use a different, use the wall that you saw at the beginning. But on top obviously there's a slightly different colour to the other ones. But I didn't worry about that too much at this point because I'm going to be having a green camera looking overlay anyway so you won't really see the colours, it's more about the light and dark effect. So once again I put um, my shadows at all the corners um, coming from the ceiling and the bottom. You don't really need to worry either about the neatness outside of your corridor either because the camera is just going to take it from inside. So it's not going to be an issue since I've got bits of shadow sticking out everywhere. As you can see a little bits from where I'm checking what it looks like on the camera, you won't see those parts at all which is always good. And obviously depending from where you want your camera you can stretch your walls shadows as long as you want. You can see also I'm running it on uh, quite low RAM so there's a bit of pixelation when I move my camera but it's fine I guess. You sort of get the idea of what's going on really. It's just a case of moving everything, checking everything, making sure it's all right. As you can see I added a big, big squares of shadow at the end just to really uh, blend out that back or that back corridor as you can see it looks a lot more effective now and then it was a case of making the camera effects so I put on a Venetian blinds effect obviously you can put on a TV effect if you want but I prefer to just do it myself because it didn't really give me the effect that I actually wanted and then I changed the curves up the green level and uh, the main RGB level and there you have it um, I also got these little uh, images, little camera images around, which I took from the Outlast uh, game, so I hope you enjoyed.